We're glad that the season has picked up well for the Kenya market in terms of the cruise tourism. The season started in September uh, last year, in 2022, and is going to end around April. So, so far, we are glad and we are happy to have received uh, we are happy to have received uh, four vessels so far, and uh, this uh, MV Atania is the second one this uh, year, that is 2023. So what that means is that uh, it's a great thing for our economy and Kenya at large because of uh, what uh, the effects that uh, cruise uh, tourism has in the economy. So this has been achieved through collaboration uh, amongst the different uh, government agencies and private players who work together to ensure that the cruise tourism is uh, adequately and effectively promoted in the country. We know destination marketing is very important, so we work uh, closely. Kenya Ports Authority works closely with Kenya Tourism Board and the other players in the industry to make sure that uh, these uh, kind of vessels are well received here and they have an enjoyable stay. And the vessel docked here around uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, early morning, and therefore it's going to stay here until today evening. Uh, it's carrying a total of uh, 15, 1,532 people, uh, 1, 000, that being 1,032 passengers and about 500 crew members. And that's, it is a high capacity vehicle in terms of uh, tourism. Uh, the tourists have already disembarked uh, and gone for excursions. Some have gone all the way to Masai Mara, some have gone to Savo, and of course some have gone to uh, the local areas in Mombasa, just to make sure that they see the tourism, uh, tourist attraction areas. Uh, with that, I would like to welcome the master of the vessel, uh, who made sure that the vessel has come uh, here successfully, and uh, he'll tell us where uh, he's come from and where the vessel is headed and when else he is going to come because we also expect another vessel in April it may not be this one but uh, we expect another one to come before the season closes in April first of all I would like to say that I'm uh, very pleased and happy <clears throat> to visit Kenya that is the first time for the Artania to visit Mombasa and uh, with this warm and uh, nice welcome I'm pretty sure that we will uh, Put it in the program for the next years, of course. And um, yeah, the ship is coming. Uh, recently, we had a passenger exchange in uh, Mauritius. We had few ports in Madagascar, and uh, today, early in the morning, we arrived in uh, Mombasa, where almost 800 passengers went for the excursion at different places. I'm pretty sure that uh, they will enjoy very much nature and uh, hospitality in Kenya. We are mostly German passenger and uh, we have about 500 crew on board which is about 30 nationalities from all over the world and as I mentioned we are pleased with your welcome and your hospitality. I'm sure that uh, it's necessary also for your, for your country and uh, more and more cruise ships coming to make a deal and to grow industry of the tourism and I wish you all the best in this aspect. Hopefully the, the world will be open after the pandemic and you will receive uh, in your beautiful port with a very nice opportunity with an excellent terminal and uh, pier and authorities and your business will grow up, grow up in the future. So I wish you this very much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, the ship is heading uh, down, south down to Zanzibar and then Mozambique. And then uh, we have uh, some ports in uh, South Africa like uh, Richards Bay, Durban, East London, Port Elizabeth. And on the 26th of uh, February, we will stop in Cape Town for three days with the uh, planet passenger exchange as well. Then we have again few ports in South, Afri uh, South Africa and then we're going slowly to the Atlantic coast, West Africa, all the way up to Europe, which will be 
last stop Africa Cruise on the 7th of April in France in Marseille.